Hello and welcome to the Alter Project. Today we're going to be building the Chinatown of Valheim, Lantern Boulevard. Now before getting into anything here, let me introduce some info about the city we're going to be building our project in. Alheim serves as the capital of Alter and is located literally on the center of the map. Alheim is the largest and the most completed city amongst others. On the southeast side of Alheim exists a district called Bulgari, the first city I built after pressing that play button, making it the oldest area in Altar. Now, do note that the past seven years hasn't all been used to build Altar. Building stuff in Minecraft is nothing more than a hobby, and I have been on and off quite a bit during the past seven years. Nevertheless, I thought this project was something to share amongst others, which is why I'm here today recording this video. Now enough time has been wasted, let's move on to the meat of this video, Lantern Boulevard. As you can see, there are already the basic structures built here in the boulevard. My job today is to polish and add details to the structures already built. Al Haim, located in the center of Altar, is where many travelers pass and go, allowing the city to have a massive trading market. Similar to actual Chinatown, I thought it would be a cool idea to build a district representing immigrants in Al Haim as well. We'll begin by building a small dining space underneath the bridge of Lantern Boulevard. Here people eat, drink, and have fun. Scaffolding blocks are utilized as tables, and I also decorated the empty ceiling with large lanterns. The marketplace is supposed to be a crowded space full of people, so I focus on crowding the area with content. I completed the row of lanterns by decorating the very end with a ginormous lantern. More scaffolding blocks are placed underneath to extend the dining area. While building other assets, I came to the realization that there is only one pathway connecting the lower level with the top. I began with carving a simple stairway leading to the upper level. Detail is then added after completing the second stairway in Lantern Boulevard. Now we're going into the process of using up all my IQ to find a creative way to fill in all the oddly vacant spaces. Starting off, we have this small space on the east side of the district. I was thinking of making sort of a pop New York style environment with a bunch of colored barrels and an area to get together and hang out. Yep, those are supposed to be barrels guys. I, I tried my best. Moving on, we have the shops on the upper level. Now usually when I build, I leave the interior vacant and make rooms later when I feel like it. I considered not filling in the shops as an option, but realized that that would take away the liveliness of what is supposed to be the most densely populated area of the capital. Before building, I first began with listing the types of shops I intended to build through a rough sketch just to make matters organized. While the area within each shop may seem small, at times such small builds can be much more difficult and tedious than larger builds since you need to make an environment that is believable with such limited amount of blocks. I've run out of things to say, so I'm gonna shut up for now. Enjoy the music and lay back and enjoy as I- what? What? So lay back and enjoy as I complete the infinite amount of shops left. Okay, and we're finally done! This is the Lantern Food Market, a place known for its heavenly fragrance. Cooks from all over the land gather here to compete and share their culinary culture. <coughs> the 
During this build, the campfire block became a necessity. I found out that the smoke radiated out from the campfire block and passed through any one block above it. Discovering this, I was able to build things like boiling pots and heated pans by placing either a cauldron or a smithing table above the campfire block. Going back to utilizing limited space, as you may have noticed, I have been using command blocks to spawn custom heads to decorate the interiors of the shops. Minecraft heads are a great way to decorate your interiors or small builds with intricate detail. Heads add a realistic and lived-in feel, so I strongly recommend those who have not tried using heads to jump onto MinecraftHeads.com to get a variety of different heads and decorations. But this is when my game crashed and my computer failed to save the recordings for when I built the fountain on the very end of the row of lanterns. Nevertheless, we'll continue by laying fences between buildings to hang Chinese-style lanterns from them. It took me a while to think of a shape that resembles actual Chinese lanterns. When I found the design I want, I used the copy and paste command with world edit to scatter the lanterns all over the fences. Now I know this part of Valheim is supposed to resemble China, however I couldn't help but add Japanese elements to this district as well. The tall looming buildings reminded me of the bright streets of Tokyo, which brought me to build neon light boards off the side of the buildings. The entrance too seemed quite lonely, so I added a Japanese torii gate to make the district look much more welcoming. Now that Lantern Boulevard is finally taking its form and the end is coming close, I am going to slide in a small fun fact about Chinese lanterns that nobody asked for. Chinese lanterns that we all know and love today originates all the way back from the Eastern Han Dynasty and were used by monks on the 12th day of the first lunar month to worship the Buddha. And surprise, Liu Zhang, the emperor of the Han Dynasty, was Buddhist and ordered his inhabitants to light Chinese lanterns to worship the Buddha just as the monks did. Seven dynasties later, the Tang Dynasty inhabitants used lanterns to celebrate peace and prosper, really making this red paper balloon the new trend in China. Now Chinese lanterns are merely made for decorative purposes, but still is a significant symbol for China and other Asian cultures. Now back to the video. We're going to move on and add some more houses around the giant Chinese roofed buildings to implement visual balance, since just the tall Chinese buildings look a little bit off-pitting. All of Valheim's residential buildings share the same style of architecture and is rather simple to make, so I'm just gonna skip the building portion and fast forward to when they're done. To add more vibrance to this red, white, beige color palette, we're going to add some trees, because trees are always a nice addition. Now believe it or not, during the 7 plus years of building, I've only really built the traditional trees that are drawn in children's books. So it was the first time building a spruce tree. From building or drawing trees, I focus on making the silhouettes so they are pretty much circular or oval. In the natural world, when taking out the leaves of the tree, the branches of a tree create a surprisingly round and oval silhouette. We'll quickly fill in the other open spaces by creating benches, tables, and carriages. Now to finally complete this district, we need to build more stuff to the southeast corner of the upper level. Currently, it is very much just a flat wall with a bland birch plank flooring. I thought it would be a cool idea to build a massive door on one of the walls and draw a silhouette of a tree on it. After decorating the rest of the wall like a medieval castle, I went on to designing the adjacent wall to the left. More trees and tables were then added, mostly because I had no other idea that could creatively utilize the remaining space. By adding just a few more finishing touches, the brightly lit boulevard comes to a completion.
That is it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, next video we'll be stepping out of Alheim for a bit to take on a very dry project in the desert city of Hana. Subscribe for more ultra building projects, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye! While I am getting a bit tired, while I am getting a bit tired of repeatedly making shops, we are blessed with another 32 shops located on the lower left. Currently it's just a flat, currently it's, <laughs> currently, currently it's just a flat wall with a bland birch plank. Blah, 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 blah.